Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Beer and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Just wanna make sure he gets there. Good. Alright. Right, so he's gonna battle them. We are starting off by whatever this crystal is exactly. First, I want to grab up all this stuff around here, especially since he is fighting Hoppips. Ooh, low kick. Alright, nothing else is clearly... Oh, you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on Terra Raid. Try to feed a power bolt terror Pokemon. Okay. Work together with other trainers. Alright. So what is this? So um I think I need Phil Phil Dick. Challenge as a group, I guess. I mean, I have no friends, so it's really just, you know, can you put some... Yeah, that's what I needed. Some bots. Cooler than I do. Oh, I hope Swablu. Oh, the reflecting his self, his crystal self through the thing. Oh shit! I forgot there's a time limit. Here you go. I think everyone else is doing more damage than I am. Oh, wait. Uh, call outs. Uh, no, I want cheer. Because they're doing the damage. My little Pokemon. Is all right. I can do one more cheer. Let's do a heal up. Is that a fully heal or just a okay? Heal some. Couldn't move because it's paralyzed. Wait, is it not defeated? Um, I'm pretty sure the rules of my Nuzlocke say I can't catch this, so I'm gonna have to pass. All right. Oh, that's a lot of experience stuff. Oh wow, it just disappears. Alright, um, bag. 
is I want to use some of these. I want to do a bug. So I don't really know if it's if any one of these is going to help more than any other one, other than my main guy. What's this? It slightly increased space points for special defense. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, save. Yeah. Head towards. Oh, wait, that's gonna be the same glowing light. That glowing light is also going to be a. You know. A crystal battle. Uh, okay, so it just shows up on my map marker down there. And is there fall damage? Whee! <sighs> I wouldn't have guessed there would be fall damage, but the Pokemon Legends Arceus had fall damage. So I don't think it's a completely unreasonable assumption to make. Oh wait, this is different. Oh, there's a shiny diglet here. A crystal diglet. Huh. None of my Pokemon are too suited to fight a diglet. You cannot catch a Pokemon while it's Terra Slide. You need to reduce its HP to break through its transformation first. Only then you can try to catch it. Huh. Oh, fuck. It's level 17. I'm glad I faced one before so I know that my fire attacks are no good. I kind of knew that already, but these terrestrialize change their typing. So. Honestly, this battle could be bad for me if he uses any ground attacks. Fucking attack. Ow. Really? So, oh, fuck. Bulldoze. Yeah, see, that's an attack that I was not wanting. potion on him and hope wait no yeah I'm gonna hope for a time where he doesn't do damage to me okay now I have oh any of these work now uh, they all have equal accuracy though oh rock tome Come on, please hit him. Fuck! Ah, shit. So, Astonish would be ideal here. Sand... My def accuracy can't go any lower. Oh, fuck. Bulldoze. And if that was a crit, I would have been fucked. 
Ah, oh, shit. Is anyone... Big Pig, you're my best hope. You have the most health. That's actually about... And you're the highest level. I forgot I was riding him. Okay, 15 damage. This move is... Uh, big... Big Pig, what are yours? Oh wait, it... I was hoping it would tell me his stats, but, um, do with the echoed voice. Okay, good. Astonish doesn't affect him. Yes. Two thousand LP. Man, those diglets are hard to see. Oh wait, I know him. Uh, I wonder if he took a beating? Or, no, that's, that's just how I had him after that other fight. Challenged by David, the office worker. Ah, uh, Shit. Didn't I already terrorize? Why can I do it again? I wonder what Freed filled his ability to terrestrialize. Hmm. Weird. Maybe I didn't terrestrialize in that bad. No, I. I feel like I remember the animation. This cake makes me so happy I don't even mind losing. David has his priorities straight. Oh, and look, he actually knows how to button his suit jacket. I'm proud of you, David. Slash the Nintendo. Oh, is this... You defeat three trainers here. Once you defeat five, you'll get a prize. I like to heal. I love the open concept for the Poke Center. If you select your profile, you'll find various records. You can also check your profile picture and trainer icon. They can be updated freely by taking photos with the camera app. Oh, that's fun. Where is my profile? Alright, so any interesting stats? I seem to have lost my music. Alright, is 
day. Oh wow, five go. Yeah, five recipes. Of oh, actually, the... now my screen's not even updating. Oh well. I guess, I guess that didn't matter. What is this? What kind of Pokemon are you? can't ride? Okay. Whee! <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm quite where the game's gonna put me. Whee! You've arrived at your destination. It looks like those are kind of fire logos, but I guess that's just the gym leader. Or gym. Oh, hey, Yagabra. Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? No. Yeah, sure you're not. Just came to the gym for some sightseeing, right? Ha, huh, you fibber. Before you can battle the gym leader, you gotta pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Oh yeah, that's right. I like this. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Three super potions. Awesome. So glad you're aiming to be a champion too. It's best news ever. Man, I'm so excited, I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. Alright. Ooh. I can't let my Pokemon out to battle yours. But, oh well. Welcome to the Cortando Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Jerrybra. Yes? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. That means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortando. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staffer over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. Alright, I'll register the location, it's just north of town. Now get out there and have fun! Right, that's a weird thing, but maybe it makes sense. I don't know. I'm still not sure where this game's set. I'm still assuming like an Italy type place. Now where? I guess is this big green field? Yeah. Oh, this is a new area, which means I get the first Pokemon I saw, and it was this yellow little doll. Yeah, or something. Oh, wait, it's Fido. Oh, I love Fido. It's such a cute name. And con it's, I love the concept of Fido. Nothing I have is effective against it, which might mean that it's a normal type. And considering it's dough, that's probably the safe assumption. Alright, um, 
use like a copycat. Cop yeah, that will be fine. I think that's a good spot to start throwing some Pokeballs. Nice. Cottonweed once learned synthesis. I think that's a good move. Heal me. Alright, so I have sleep, poison, stun, fairy wind. What's fairy wind do? It's the only damage dealing attack. Uh... Actually, I'm not gonna get synthesis. If I wanted it, I would use. just use a potion. Oh, I have to rename Fido. It's a puppy Pokemon. This Pokemon is smooth and moy to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath includes fermentation in the poke induces fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. Fuck, he's fucking drunk. Uh, oh, Fido, 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 Fido. What do you name Fido? East. I don't like this. Yeast. Come on. Yeast mon is <laughs> sent to your boxes. Because you can only have six with you. go battle some and I am here for one olive roll please uh, you need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end get the ball over various obstacles then push into the goal to clear the course now that you're all filled in are you ready to start Great, put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll away. Alright, take on the olive roll. Wait, why do I have a timer? Isn't this just to do it? Oh, that's fucking. Oh. Wow. So, is this a trainer I have to face? Do they see me? Don't mind me. Are they actually going to block this path? I 
wonder if I just have to do this the one time. So that's kind of fun. Not okay. Not much of a challenge, but you know, kind of fun. loading screen for oh what is wrong with your eye with that performance I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year happy to declare your gym test officially cleared congratulations please report your result to the lobby staff at the gym good luck in your battle against Katie but why do I have to report like is that some kind of you know Shouldn't that be on them? Aren't I a little biased to report if I did it or not? Alright, I'm ready for a very easy gym battle. Ready to challenge gym leader Katie, the sugar bug? Yeah. I will only say yes when it progresses the story. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Eat up, my cute little Vivillion. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortando Gym right now. Forgive me, ahem. My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Ugh, I don't like thinking of bugs and space trees at the same time. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Gym Leader Katie. What was this thing called? Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. I will curb stomp your little nimble. Uh, incinerate. I don't want to. Terrestrialize yet, in case she has something strong. Fuck. 15 minute sleeper. 
Big Pig wants to learn Covet. What the fuck are you gonna covet, you pig? User endearingly approaches the target and steals the held item. Yeah, that is funny. Tarantula. Nope, we'll keep going. Do I have any flying types? Because they could also be beneficial here. Mm. Hoppip's kind of flying, but has no flying attacks, so... We're stuck grounded. I should have tested the terrestrializing. Oh, Teddy Ursa. I really should have taught someone that low kick. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? That's not a bug. Oh yeah, Incinerate gets a stab bonus. Same type attack bonus. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Oh, he's gonna do the same thing. I'm guessing that's gonna be a... a trend. Just hung on. It hit all five times. That's ridiculous. These all have the same, yeah, same accuracy. I wonder if he's a bug type with his thing on. Because he had the ears, and that would make sense. Give him the gym. He's level 19 and he hasn't evolved? What does charge do? User becomes charged, boosting the power of the next electric type. No thanks. Oh, 2700. That's some good prize money. What? Oh, Eggbird is finally evolving. Oh, what the fuck is this thing? Combination of Crockler's fire energy and overflowing vitality has caused an egg-shaped fireball to appear on the Pokemon's head. <laughs> uh, that is just, uh, that's weird, but okay. Whatever you say, game. And Phil Dick is. <laughs> Into a Flaffy. As a result of storing too much electricity, develop patches where even downy wool won't grow. Hmm. I wonder if that's why downy, the fat, the laundry product company, is also named that. If that means something in the wool world. 
Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. To prove your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Oh, that's cute. But I'm dressed as a nerd still. God, I have to go home and change my clothes. With one gym badge in your position, Pokemon of up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. That's good, because... You obtained TM Pounce. You put TM021 in your bag's TM pocket. The user attacks by pouncing on the target. This also lowers the target's speed stat. Neat. Once you found a TM during your travels, you then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? I didn't think, I didn't realize it was actual copies. Um, I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then until we meet again. Hey, hey, Jager, bro. Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool moves. Be ready. How to go at the gym, by the way. I passed easily. I burnt the gym down. <laughs> yes, haha. <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. So glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, pass me. Training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Speaking of going to strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm going to want to battle if we run into each other. Alright. I'm going to end this episode here, not just because I really need to use the restroom. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Come back next time. We'll continue exploring Tabia. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.